Uh, hey there, this is Atul from Team K Tonin Academy, and I'm here to, I'm very excited to announce and recording this video to announce that we have just released a, a new bootcamp on cloud security, including DevSecOps. Primary focus is ensuring the security, end to end security. And initially, we are going to focus on two most important clouds one is AWS and Azure. And though we have some already started with some uh, additional uh, security related on as on Google as well as Oracle, but primary focus for this particular time is on AWS and Azure Cloud, including DevSecOps. So I thought probably I'll take this opportunity to record what exactly we are going to cover and any questions you have. We got uh, I released on a very smaller group and I got a ton of questions or a couple of questions. So I'll probably record those. I picked up two or three good questions out of that, and so that um, and if you have any further questions like that after listening this, please feel to feel free to ask. I'm going to keep it short and very quick to, quick to the point. So what is the objective of this program? Objective is to learn by doing hands-on. It's going to be bootcamp, less theory, more hands-on driven, where we're going to cover security on of, uh, as I said, cloud, uh, but it's going to be on job-oriented focus with an intention that you, if you're not working or you want to work in a cloud security, then you get a job. And if you're already working, then how you transition into the cloud security uh, uh, as well. Now, as I said, who this is for? This is primarily for, um, as name suggests, if you want to move into cloud security or if you're already working to cloud security or cyber security, but want to move on to the cloud or know about um, uh, how these things are secured uh, in cloud, we'll be talking about that. Why we're releasing? Because I've done, uh, from, from 2004 or 5, 2005, I started learning security and then I wrote a book on cloud security, uh, on, on not cloud security, but in on-premise security where we were doing Oracle Identity Nexus Management. I made tons and tons of money on security. It's always on my interest. And I noticed that uh, after doing cloud, I was doing, I did a lot of cloud security projects and that helped me on 1200 pounds a day kind of a rate, very good rates on security. And I see come across lots and lots of guys are looking now looking for how to make sure that cloud is secure. If you look at the job opportunities, whether whatever country you are, you will know that the security professionals are treated like a god. They get a lot tons of money. And most important is that you get a job satisfaction of you can demand uh, or decide when to work, what to work on, because finding a good security professional is very, very difficult. Now, I'm not going to go money is not a problem in this. I know you earn a lot of money as long as you're good. And that's what we're going to cover. So to look at what all things you're going to cover or what all things we are going to cover, we'll begin with identity and access management on will things like users, groups, roles, policies, um, and depending on Azure has a little bit different uh, resource uh, groups, um, management groups, et cetera, as well. So we'll cover all this. We'll also cover uh, the three A's, which is authentication, authorization, and auditing with respect to uh, the cloud within cloud. We'll also look at um, multi-factor authentication, MFA, single sign-on, SSO, and conditional access, and a role-based access control in the context of Azure. So um, we will be covering AWS Cloud, uh, AWS and Azure. As I said, we'll setting up users, groups, policies, similar to that in Azure as well, and we'll different creating different uh, roles and then permissions on and see some users can or can't do based on that. We'll also look at cloud um, like S3 buckets, security around um, S3 buckets, and then Azure policy, which will dictate what a user can or can't do. So we'll talk about Azure policies. We'll also look at Azure Active Directory, which is now Entry ID, if you're familiar with, we'll go aggressive, like very deep into Azure Active Directory including sync with on-premise Microsoft Active Directory. You can't tell uh, a user's group security without explaining about um, Microsoft Active Directory. So how that Microsoft Active Directory integrates with Azure Active Directory, we'll be talking about that. Also, there is a lab on Azure Active Directory, privileged identity management, PIM we call, we'll be covering that as well. Also, how do you configure additional uh, tenants? which is a kind of a, think of it as a like a, a group of users or maybe an entity of the users or partners as well. Then we'll look at the module two. We're going to go on to the infrastructure security where we look at things like uh, defensive depth, uh, cyber security, zero trust security um, model, also micro segmentation at a network level where we'll be looking, how do you secure using VNets and VPCs 
on AWS or Azure and AWS respectively, including a network security group, NSGs, application security group, and also network access control list and NACL in AWS as well. We'll also be configuring a lot of other things like how to deploy VPCs, subnets, protect them, endpoints, and then VPC flow log, which will be important for troubleshooting purpose to making sure that security related stuff. Also network security group, as I said, application group, Azure Firewall, another one will go deeper into these things. That's module two. Then module three, we are going to look at application security and then DevSecOps as well. How to uh, do things, we'll look as OWASP tools, um, application programming uh, interface, API security, DevOps, Dev, DevSecOps, and in that we're going to look at containers and Kubernetes also will we'll be looking and CI CD continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment, security pipelines, tools, etc. as well. So we're going to take uh, an example of EKS, which is a Kubernetes doc, Kubernetes on AWS EKS, and then also Kubernetes on, on Azure, which is AKS, Azure Kubernetes service. How do you configure uh, the things like SAST, which is your static application security testing tool using Sonar Cube, which is quite common. How do you integrate that into your CI CD pipeline? We'll also look at Zapscan for dynamic application security testing and interactive application security testing, IAS, SAT as well. We'll also be looking at how do you secure uh, uh, the containers and Kubernetes and underlying image re repository, which is your ACR in Azure and ECR Elastic Container Registry in AWS as well. Then module four is going to be about data, database and storage security. We'll be looking at things like um, data in REST, data in transit for your uh, data stored in S3 buckets or in your storage accounts. How do you securely uh, provide those uh, endpoints? Also the databases like Azure SQL database or RDS and so on. So security of all those things as well. We'll also look at the public private keys to protect or encrypting the data both uh, one by provided by cloud provider or also how do you configure your own cloud provider as well um, also using automating autonomous monitoring of cryptographic activity with KMS key management um, system or service that you'll be will be talking about as well we'll look at key vault um, as well as securing the databases as I said multiple databases as well again we're not going to limit it here this is as I said right now uh, this is a, a beta program right now which means you're working more closely with us or with me and team and we are adding more and more labs if you want to add more lab as well now we'll also look at monitoring um, CSPM which is cloud security posture management also SIEM your security information event management um, SOAR IRP and we're going to use Azure Sentinel and um, which which is quite uh, commonly asked a lot of job opportunities around that as well. Uh, we'll also look at cyber kill, kill chain and um, we'll, we'll teach all these things where you, you'd be configuring um, our cloud watch uh, log and if you're already familiar with AWS you probably might have done that a cloud watch log but how do you find out the security related events on that also security hub in AWS incident responses and then we are going to use uh, in AWS IAM we'll be using Jupyter netbook uh, uh, notebooks and playbooks for incident responses as well in from Microsoft Azure monitoring and then Microsoft Defender for Cloud which comes as a um, which is a service that you pretty useful and handy and then as I said uh, Microsoft Sentinel which is for SIAM and or acting both as SIAM and S SOR for your cloud providers as well. Um, also, the most important point is we help you with your CV preparation, mock interviews, um, the group discussions, LinkedIn profile update. That's something bonus which probably will help you even if you're not looking for a job, which will at least prepare you what all things you can expect and group interviews and mock interviews as well. Uh, uh, again, if you're already part of our programs, you know we go deeper into and we'll have group and one to one mock interviews as well. Some of the things you already know, um, we help you with the project work live. We, there'll be weekly live interactive sessions and also we'll be preparing labs. We'll be recording those labs as we mature. Now, everything which we talk about comes with uh, one year on job support. Um, if you need any help right now in implementations come for that as well. Also 100% refund policy, but hear me out refund policy. Again, I keep repeating. I want to be transparent. You have to do the work and if you've done the work and not got the result 
just work with us and let us know and um, as long as you have done the work which is completing the project work the hands-on lab as well as um, you know you applied for the jobs but not got either interview calls or um, or the job as uh, itself as uh, as long as you followed our principle and you're following that instructions which will guide you on CV preparation if you don't get you have 60 days you can always come back and do those work and just show us we'll refund you 100% money back uh, on this I hope that makes sense if you have any other question let me know um, as well you'll be getting unlimited retake uh, and as I said you'll be the first one to know about um, uh, because it's a beta program I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute about as I said we'll also cover certifications and we're going to cover two important certifications for security related one is AWS security and second is Azure security AZ 500 if you are looking for any other certification as long as it's related to cloud and security just let us know and we'll help you on that um, also uh, another thing is um, for limited time we are doing a bonus we have something called as certified kubernetes security cks uh, so uh, we're giving that exam preparation and the course in self-study mode for cks absolutely free which is containers uh, kubernetes security cks program for you there are a lot of job opportunity available for containers and kubernetes security so the whole certification you'll be adding as a bonus this is program which you've done in past very in-depth program we'll be covering four c's which is cloud infrastructure on which your Kubernetes cluster run, which anyway you're going to cover in the program, but then cluster, uh, which is your Kubernetes cluster again, will cover in EKS and ECS. Then container uh, security, which is the platform on which your application or microservices run, and the code, which is nothing but the code they've given by developer, how do you secure so four C's as a part of this uh, CKS certification as well. Uh, so, um, as I said, uh, we have tons and tons, tons of uh, success stories for our cloud program and I'm sure we will be able to replicate the same thing on this cloud security as well uh, as well as here and by the way if you want to go any other security on the any other cloud for security for that particular specific cloud just let us know so there are 25 seats uh, for 25 50 percent off but then first come first serve as well and uh, we released a mail yesterday and, and three seats are already gone so we only have 25 22 seats now I should cut it and uh, now maybe I'll um, I'll, I'll put it here um, I think shift L5 no um, so there are uh, two uh, this basically like 22 seats on uh, on uh, as well now couple of questions and now is this for me just let me know uh, uh, if you're not sure just as long as you have interest about security or you want to move to security definitely um, so the question from Pavan was that I worked on DevOps for three years uh, but not use all the tools i'm a senior staff a manager for 20 years experience it, will it be helpful if you've used um, already working on devops we are going to cover devsecop which is quite hot absolutely useful also make sure that um, if you have not used all the tools this totally totally fine as long as uh, if you're working on devops there's a high probability you will move on to cloud 99 percent chances and cloud security so yes absolutely useful uh, um, I think there was a swap someone is already part of other programs so as long as you have one week in another program if you just joined some other program and you do move to swap or you want to swap as long as they said within one week we can consider but if you already attended uh, and um, sessions of the other batches um, highly unlikely but come and speak to my uh, team so a bit I'm going to ask someone from my team will give you a call as well also there's another one was payment plan uh, so so for discounted offer, which is 50% off, there is no payment plan. Uh, but um, if, you, if you're looking for a payment plan, you have to pay slightly higher. So they might consider a payment plan, but then you'll end up on a main, uh, not the beta pricing, but the main pricing. But come and speak to my team. And if you have any other question apart from that, don't hesitate to ask. And I think, yeah, uh, I hope I've given this enough. But the most important is, as I said, it's in beta right now. I'm, I'm going to get tons of questions and uh, tons of um, things. So post your questions uh, saying that, are we going to cover this lab or that lab? Or by the way, we always say program usually do, we're hands-on driven, project based. So if you have any project that you want us to cover, if you have any hands-on lab you want to cover, just bring it on and we'll do it. Um, being beta means you're go going to work more closely with me uh, on these things and uh, you will have a say on or input on this program. With that, this is Atul. 
and if you have any questions i look forward to hear these questions leave them under the comment in the video we'll be keeping it on loom and if you have another question as i said um, we'll 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 yeah um, happy to talk as well and with that atul from team keton academy thanks for listening take care and bye for now